If you take a look, there's a spider web in between you and me. Uh -huh. What the two sides represent, where you stand right now is the team you are today. Okay. On this side of the web represents the team you want to be. Okay? Where you are sharing best practices. You are staying in touch with each other across the country. You are truly communicating, holding each other responsible. You're worried about the bottom line. You're doing all the things you need to be doing. To get here, you've got to get through these challenges. This is everything that lies between you. Now, if you take a look at this web, I love this web because it's made up of, of all these different size holes. Yeah. Each one has a different shape, a different configuration. Mm -hmm. Just like each one of you has a different set of challenges, different set of personal challenges. Your goal is to collectively get your entire team successfully to this side of the web. What that entails is getting people through each hole. Okay? Now here's the other thing you need to keep in mind. This web, as you can tell, it's, it's very sensitive. This web is very sensitive. If anybody touches it, it moves. Think of this web as representing integrity. You do not want to compromise your integrity in moving your team to a new level. Which means coming through this web, you do not want to touch it at any time in any way. So the web cannot be touched in any time, any way. The other interesting thing, each hole can only be used one. Ooh. No, what do you think, David? Shit. I mean, seriously? <laughs> one time. <laughs> That's neat. You wanted to Don't say two. Wait, 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 before you plan, before you plan. Each hole can only be used one time. Now, here's something to keep in mind. If we're passing somebody through this hole, let's say we're, we're passing Michael through this hole and somebody touches the web, not only does he have to come back because he hasn't made it through successfully, but it impacts this team, which means someone who has successfully gone through already has to come back. Now, when they come back, their hole reopens. So, for instance, if Sal came through this hole and he, you decide for him to come back as a penalty person, that hole reopens. Okay. So you do not run out of holes. But anybody touching the web, there's a penalty person that needs to come back, there, and you can just walk around the trees, and then that hole reopens. Everybody good so far? Yeah. If, from a safety standpoint, if you choose to lift anybody, some of these holes are high. If you choose to lift anybody, there are some very, very specific safety rules we want you to follow. First of all, whoever's being lifted, we want you to stay stiff as a board. Okay? Stay stiff as a board. Get a, get a row of people on both sides so you're laying on a bed of hands. Do not lock hands like a fireman's, don't do that. Just keep your hands separated. But you'll have a bed of hands on both sides to hold you flat. The reason you want to stay flat is if you're stiff, you distribute the weight among all the hands. If you're real floppity, your butt kind of hangs down through hands and it's real hard to hold. Okay, so stay stiff as a board. We'll help you with that as well. If you choose to lift anybody or to pass somebody, you must have a minimum of three people on each side. A minimum of three people on each side. Ideally, I'd like about six people to lift a person, but you must have at least three people. If you hear me say spotters, that means we need more people underneath. Okay, and we'll keep talking to you about that as we move on. Other safety things: no running and diving through holes. No shooting team members through holes. You can't go over it. You can't go under it. Uh, if you remember when we were kids, you used to wheelbarrow people pick up their feet and run through. If you're holding somebody's feet and they go through, set their feet down, okay? Because if you let go, one of two things will happen. Either their knees will hit the ground first, and there are a couple rocks out here, or they'll try to kick their feet up, and you can get kicked in the face. And we don't want either one of those to happen. So just set their feet on the ground gently, okay? Bottom line is we're being very careful to take care of each other. Okay, any other questions safety-wise? Your goal is to get everybody through the web successfully. Each hole can be used one time. Hold on a second, before you plan, before you plan, before you plan. Each hole can be used one time. Okay. If anybody touches, that's the person going through or anyone assisting them, that person has to back up and go through again, plus one penalty person comes back. Okay? Oh. So the penalty people, be careful because that can cascade backwards if you're not careful. Okay. And the last thing, this is where you can make it as much of a challenge as you like. We will give you two free touches that okay. you can use whenever you choose. Two free touches. Okay. Your challenge is if you want to make it harder, don't use them. And in addition to that, you can use, what do you think, three? Or four? Twice. Well, I was saying two, but two? so let me say three then. Oh, three. Now you get mean. Three. three holes of your choice you can use twice. 
three holes of your choice. Don't worry, you, you can don't use twice. You say, you say <laughs> Anybody have any questions? That's a good oh. You are not time. That's, that's right. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You do not have a time limit on this, but my challenge to you is to shoot for 25 minutes. Okay. Okay? okay. It is not a time limit, but that's my challenge to you. Go to it. Right. Let's go under.